Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Tradeup. Hi friends, my name is Malaysham Devasane. In this video, I'm going to share the very important details uh, how to attempt the mock test. So it is the proper proper strategy for attempting gate mock tests. The importance of this mock test uh, will create how to score uh, 70 plus in each mock test that you are going to attempt. So let's uh, begin uh, with the, a very good quotation that why do you need to practice? Because a practice makes perfect. Of course, the perfect practice requires to make it perfect. So let's begin uh, with our idea that how to prepare for a mock test. The first thing is understand the importance of mock test. So when you prepare uh, for gate, it looks like that you learned uh, so many concepts, but uh, when you practice the mock test, the so many things which comes to your mind, you are prepared topics, uh, sometimes you may not recall in proper way and you may forget the concepts, but this mock test will help you uh, to make a very good revision on the uh, preparation. So how do you prepare is one stage, then once you have completed your preparation, the last and final stage will create the mock test. So the mock test will help you to revise better way. So if you have a, a very good practice in mock test, you can revise all the concepts that you have prepared in a very well manner. So first thing is, it helps you to revise the topics when you practice the mock test. So that is, uh, this is the first impact on uh, the gate. The second impact is, you also know that the weaker topics are when you attempt a mock test. So, uh, so you have let's say 65 questions in a gate. So the 65 questions you might be uh, going for at least 100 topics to revise. In this, out of 100 topics, you will find 10 to 20 topics you might be weaker. So in the beginning, you must understand to strength to improve those topics. So uh, this is going to be a second impact on the gate. The third important is um, the third impact that going to be important on gate is uh, time management. So when you attempt this uh, mock test, it has to be uh, managed well and you must utilize the three hours a proper way. So easy questions has to be spent in less, less time and uh, difficult and moderate questions has to spend enough time to solve and to get the correct answer. So time management is a very important strategy when you go for the mock test. Then. Uh, when we go for each question, how do you apply the techniques? You have the shortcuts and you have the theoretical techniques and you have the longer methods and which method has to be used. So you must follow a particular strategy when you read a question. So try to understand which technique is suitable for uh, which topic. So try to practice a better way and try to practice many times so that you will understand the proper way to solve each question. Then importance of the gate pattern. So you have uh, so many kinds of uh, patterns like you know multiple choice questions and the numerical type questions, one mark, two mark and then in this type you have formula oriented questions and definition oriented questions and uh, theoretical questions, concept oriented questions and all of them you have to understand what kind of uh, you know importance uh, for each question you should give. So when you read a question you must understand the which way you should approach. Then finally, this mock test will help you to analyze your performance. So how many questions you have attempted, how many marks you have carried in each mock test that will really create an impact on GIT. So let's begin this with this impacts, how we can understand, then how can practice, how can you attempt the mock test to get 70 plus marks out of 100. Then what is the strategy uh, before a mock test? what kind of strategy you must follow so that mock test practice will, uh, will go in very well manner. So understand the strategy has to be uh, planned proper way. So what kind of strategy it is? So you must revise all the topics before attempting the mock test so that uh, you, when you sit in uh, mock test, the three hours you will not have a problem to recall the concepts because you must have a comfortability before the attempting the mock test. Maybe if you are attempting in the evening time, so in the daytime or morning time, you must start practicing or revising the topics. Or if you uh, attempt in the morning, if you are going to attempt in the morning, so day before 
the test we must practice or revise the concepts so let's begin a revision let's begin the revision before attempting the mock test that will help you to attempt the mock test in very well manner so next understand the various methods because you have so many methods during your you know uh, mock test practice so when you when you practice the questions or uh, when you attempt the questions you must feel comfortability with those methods so try to understand all the difficult and important methods before attempting the mock test then recall all the concepts in short period of time because you have 11 to 12 subjects uh, that have to revise before the mock test so you must make a short notes and that should create a very good impact in short period of time then try to read uh, short notes instead of reading entire notes if you want to prepare entire notes in the revision it takes one day to revise in one subject sometimes one day may not be sufficient to read one subject but your target is to revise 11 to 12 subjects in one day so you must plan a short notes to prepare or revise all these topics important topics in one day then look for topics which are very important so it is not possible to revise every topic you know on the same day so what you do is try to target on important topics in short period of time and easy topics anyhow you remember for long time but when it comes to very important topics and very difficult topics you must revise them so you must mark all the important topics when you revise so you have to follow a particular strategy before each mock test because after practicing so many mock test definitely you will understand you have all the concepts revised then without having a revision the last mock test that is actual gate test is going to be attempted in very well manner then what should be a strategy during your mock test then you have a question that then which way i have to solve each question then that is very important to understand out of 65 question assume that each question is very important because you do not know which question is easy so your target is to reach each question in short period of time so so follow a particular method that we have a technique that so let's see what are the methods which will help you to understand to practice each question in mock test then the first method you have to follow or you essay what is that it is nothing but read understand solve and answer so when you read a question then you must understand as soon as possible then you go to you decide whether you can solve that question or not if you are able to decide that you can solve then you must solve and answer it this is the first method for each question when you read you apply are you essay method then if you fail suppose you read and understand the question but you are not able to solve you you know that it takes time to solve then if it is taking more than 5 minutes of time it needs time to solve then better to uh, do in a next scan because in the first scan your target is to uh, to reach all the questions in short period of time so all easy questions try to solve in the first scan and the the questions which take time please mark them and solve in the next scan definitely then that second method is read understand and you know that it takes time then keep it pending and you must do in the second scan so are you p questions should be solved in the second scan definitely that is read understand and you know that you have understand the problem but the problem is that you are not able to solve in a short period of time so better to keep in a uh, second scan then the last method that you should follow are you l read understand and leave it because the question is not clear to you you are not able to understand there is some problem with the question even you try it you may not be succeed that definitely you should not mark for the second scan you may come to this question after you complete the pending questions but you know that the pending questions itself it takes time to solve so the first priority you should give to the are you sa second priority is are you p if you have the time for the third scan then definitely you go for the whichever the questions you left that you did not understand then try to attempt all numerical type questions because which will not carry any negative mark in the marking in the gate exam so that is the good practice that try to attempt the numerical type questions without leaving then scan the paper at least two times then why do you require in the first scan try to attempt all the 
easy questions more than 35 questions will be there out of 65 so your target is to attempt 40 to 50 questions that is your target in the first scan in the second scan you have understand the question but you know that it takes time to solve then better to uh, go for the second scan and the third scan if you have a time left out of three hours then you go for the questions which you left because you know that you are not able to understand then try to understand if you have the time left so in this practice you can a better attempt during the mock test then once you follow this method in mock test then what is the method after the mock test that you should learn every time you practice the mock test because when you sit in the mock test you must learn uh, something from the mock test that what you have done in the mock test what was the problem and what was the easiness of the mock test so analyze the performance how many questions you have attempted how many you have answered correctly and how many answered wrong how many not answered so the there are three things you have to identify find the topics that you have not answered and that you have answered so first point is find the topics that you have answered so you have no problem with those topics and mark them then that you are very comfortable with those topics and second find the topics that you have not answered why because you are not comfortable with those topics and there is some problem with the question and try to understand what is the problem with those topics and third one is find the top topics that you have doubt and when you have the doubt definitely you must clear them when you are not answered that may be because of doubt or that may be because of you are not able to understand the question so better to clear the second and third with a very good effort so that uh, you will not have the same problem for the same topic in the next mock test so that is you are try to be strong in the second and third point the first point anyhow you are very strong the second and third point it's a very important you need to uh, improve your weaker topics and make it strength as uh, soon as possible after completing the mock test then which mock test is better in the mock kit see uh, I can say that the mock test has to give you uh, impact on your preparation impact when you sit in the uh, gate so look at uh, the which mock test will create impo impact on your preparation that is they should distribute uh, the uh, mocks uh, to all the topics of syllabus and the same questions will not repeat in each mock test then difficulty level of question should be as per gate and uh, a balance of a complete paper is required and importance of gate pattern that is the question should be similar to the gate and it has to be and practiced in, in a very well manner so that you will uh, feel comfortability with the actual gate so whichever the mock test will give you impact with these points please join those test series and they will definitely create some impact on you to understand uh, to uh, to understand all the topics and to revise all the topics in better way so try to identify try to read the reviews of uh, your friends and seniors and follow them to a uh, giant mock test mock test series then tips for attempting mock test we have seen already so many tips but this is the final tips uh, you know uh, for the mock test you should follow remember that each question is important you do not know which question is easy which question is hard and which question is difficult nobody knows uh, uh, which topic has a easy question in uh, the mock test until you face until you see until you read until you understand you do not know about it so first do it understand the each question that you read then you decide whether it is really easy or hard or you can solve it or not then only you can understand uh, the, the level or difficulty level of each question so your priority your priority is to read each question of the mock test then if you are able to do then follow the previous techniques that I have explained that I have discussed during uh, the first three slides then answer all easy questions first so that you can get all easy marks first without leaving anyone so because some of the difficult questions which may take time when you take time definitely other questions will uh, uh, will will be affected if you are not completed within three hours so your target is to reach a uh, many questions in three hours so how it is possible when you solve all the questions in first time which are easier then remaining questions definitely take time 
so all easy questions try to solve in short period of time so that uh, remaining questions will left uh, enough time to practice them in the test so answer all possible questions without leaving because when it is possible to you why why can't you solve within 3 hours you must to follow a method that i am discussing here target is to get maximum marks out of 100 so who uh, you uh, nobody will see you uh, which question you have solved but finally the how many marks you got whether you have solved difficult or not nobody knows but uh, out of 100 if you get 70 marks everybody can see you you have solved a very well manner and you have balanced the whole paper and this is the way that you have to practice each mock test your attention is to get maximum marks not the attention to get or to solve the difficult topic or difficult question so you must to follow a strategy during each practicing each mock test practicing then minimize the wrong answer during your practice because out of 65 questions it's a very difficult to solve every question but you can solve more than 50 questions in correct way and you can give a proper a time to this 50 questions to get maximum marks in the gauge so in each practice test try to minimize the wrong answers because when you do not know the question please do not answer it try to understand after the mock test try to cover that a topic which you are in weak but do not try to attempt which you are not uh, comfortable but uh, how many questions you attempt how many answer how many answer correctly that really makes an impact that how do you attempt the mock test then prepare the physically and mentally uh, for each mock test that how you balance your you know physical ability and mental ability that because when you sit for three hours if you do not uh, keep attention if you do not uh, focus on each question then definitely you are going to lose your concentration and after uh, one, hour, one hour or two hours you are going to deviate from the test so definitely you must know a method that uh, how can you involve three hours without any break so of course one or two minutes you can take a break within three hours so that will not um, make an impact in three hours but it will balance the three hours so you have to understand so many times you must deviate you must allot you must allot your three hours time to practice a mock test so try to practice a mock test without any deviation that makes you impact how do you attempt actual gate so three hours test is really important for you so you have to practice at least 100 times before before attempting the actual gate so that you will learn that you will learn better way that how you should balance the three hours then when should i attempt mock test so this was the question from uh, many students and i am facing almost every day that uh, one question from the student what is the right time to should uh, should i should i attempt the mock test then actual right time is if you are already prepared in the last year and you are just revising the concept this year then you should start as soon as possible as the second point i have discussed but if you are preparing this year then you must start after completing at least six to eight subjects of old syllabus because without having six to eight subjects if you go to the mock test then mock test covers almost every subject then out of 65 if you do not attempt 50 questions there is no use of attempting the mock test but see you must understand how do you balance entire three hours so you should read each question and you should try to understand each question and if you are able to solve it you should solve that question if you want to practice this you must complete at least 68 subjects then you should practice you should start attempting the mock test to understand how many mocks you can get in each mock test so if you do this at least you know 40 to 50 questions you can answer from 6 to 8 subjects so this is a very important if you are preparing this year so by the september you must complete uh, the maximum portion of your gate syllabus then you can start practicing the actual mock test because september october november december you can practice nearly 100 mock test that you have uh, offline and online uh, test series so even here the same mock test you can practice any number of times to understand the time and to understand the techniques in shorter way and to practice the same question and many times this is really important when you uh, practice a mock test so please try to understand which is the right time for you and which is the uh, a best mock test for you to practice then what is the universal truth to attempt a mock test 
प्रैक्टिस मेक्स ए मैन परफेक्ट दैट मीन्स हाउ डू ए प्रैक्टिस इट सी वॉट ब्रूजली सेस दैट आई फियर नॉट द मैन हु हैज प्रैक्टिस्ड थाउजेंड किक्स वॉन्स बट आई फियर द मैन हु हैज प्रैक्टिस वन किक टेन थाउजेंड टाइम्स सी एनी हाउ ही हैज नॉट हैविंग द फियर द टेन थाउजेंड किक वॉन्स दैट ही हैज प्रैक्टिस but the one kick he has practiced thousand times means he has the perfection that how the same question you can solve many ways so it is also a very good thing the practice the same mock test and more than 10 times which will tell you how the concepts can be recalled in faster way so even you have the 20 to 40 mock test practice as many as times the same mock test a many times because that will tell you how to utilize your time how to recall the concepts how to switch one question to another how to balance your time how to continuously you know sit uh, for 3 hours uh, for the mock test so this is very important so how to kick the 10000 times the same same one that means the same a uh, gate same got gate mock test you must practice so many times then to understand what is actual at the gate so try to understand why this uh, quotation is really important for you of course it is finally this one kick 10000 times will help you the 10000 kicks you can do once automatically because you know one kick how to do many ways so this kind of preparation is very important when you prepare for the gate especially so i hope this video is really helpful to practice the mock test in better way and what is the right time and which mock test series is uh, right for you and this re this is really uh, very important for you and uh, it is always welcome to come uh, grade up and uh, you act, ask your questions whenever you have the doubts and uh, there are so many aspirants are discussing and hundreds of questions every day and this really helps you to understand what kind of preparation they are doing every day and how do they ask and how do they clear other doubts so you also participate with them and practice the questions and, and participate and compete with them to understand what is actual scenario in the, in a present world so thank you for watching this video and i'm going to share so many other videos which is related to the gate and thank you once again